Hi there, welcome to Mama in a Minivan, which is where I take some of the time out of my Uber momming to drop in and share around nervous system regulation for brain body biome health. And here in the Midwest, it's spring, which is wonderful. We're getting ready for summer. And I've been going back to something I used to use a long time ago, those breathe right strips at nighttime to just keep my sinuses open. They keep saying it's a really intense allergy season. And so I've been really benefiting from those, except I want to point out this little red spot on my nose that it's healing so much more than it was. I ripped some skin off. I was doing fine. I have sensitive skin. I was doing fine with the regular Breathe Right strips. Then I was in the drugstore and they didn't have the regular brand. They had a generic brand and I picked those up and I thought, oh, it'll be okay because it says sensitive skin, but no. The next morning it ripped some skin off. So uh, I guess buyer beware with those generic Breathe Right strips. So. In addition to doing uh, work on the sinuses, I have personally noted, and I'm talking to lots of parents and friends that are parents, that are feeling the end of school year stress. So much to do, so many events being packed into our calendar. It's really stressful um, to pack it all, and it's all wonderful. I'm super grateful that I get to do all of this wonder stu wonderful stuff and celebrate these accomplishments with my daughter and our family, but it just takes up a lot more time. It's tricky to fit it all in. There's a lot of extras that we're doing. So here's what I've been doing to help dial down the stress from a nervous system regulation standpoint. I've been doing more of the balance buttons, which is two fingers behind each ear. The other hand goes on the belly button. Those have been really helpful. I've been doing those a few more times a day and breathing and envisioning that it will all get done and going beyond it all getting done, but it getting done and enjoying the experiences and the process as well, because I want to be able to be in the present moment. And speaking of the present moment, when I feel my mind racing and I'm getting ahead of myself, I'll go into the bow and arrow pose or the pause reflex, the one where we take one arm out straight. You can check those out on my YouTube video and holding and breathing. Um, that's really great for dropping into the present moment. And then I've also been doing fear paralysis. It's not that I'm afraid of anything going on. It's a matter of the anxiety, trying to get it all done, feeling that stress, waking up in the middle of the night and thinking, oh my gosh, did I take care of this? Did I schedule this? Is this all set? Is this costume going to be ready? Those kinds of things. So doing the fear paralysis tapping, even just at the breastbone and the outer arms is super helpful. I do it pretty regularly, but recently it was pretty profound. I had a lot of tension in my neck, upper traps, and after I did the fear paralysis tapping, it felt so much better. It just started to melt away. And you can learn that at my free gift video series, uh, Inner Resources. And you can get that at the link in my bio or at my website, inspiredwell.com. So I hope you are using tools to support you with this end of year time, if, especially if you're parents. But even if you're not, everybody's out there in the yard, in the garden. That's a, a stress mentally and physically. So make sure you take really good care of yourself. And until next time, remember to never, ever underestimate a mama in a minivan.